All right, so in this video, uh, I'm going to cover a lot of different functions and it will be mostly to address a particular case. So I had somebody comment this particular question and I found it sort of interesting. So I decided to make a video about it. So basically what we have is two different comma separated lists. See, I have Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Thursday, and there's a list on the left and some days in the second cell. So some of these days in this first list will match some of the days in the second list. So as a result, what we want to get is only the days that match in both lists. So basically we should get Monday, Tuesday is not in both lists, so it shouldn't be there. We should get Monday, Friday, and Saturday in this particular case. That's what we're looking for. So something that will give us Monday, Friday, and Saturday. So that's gonna be what we're trying to achieve in the end of the day. So this is something that I would usually do using app scripts, but I decided to tackle this using functions that are available in Google Sheets without using any app scripts. So to get to the solution for this, I'm going to first talk about a different solution. And a different problem we're going to have is this. Basically, instead of having this comma separated list, I'm going to move to these tabs where we have those in separate cells. So we're gonna say we have two ranges, the first range and the second range, and we basically want to get a resulting third range, which is gonna be only the ones that are available in both lists. So we want Monday, Friday, and Saturday as a new range output. So that's what we're trying to get first. So in this video, I'm going to cover a lot of different functions and a lot of these functions I already did cover in detail in separate videos. So if some of these aren't making sense to you, maybe go back and watch those videos for those functions separately. But here I'll be just using them and explaining what they're going to accomplish. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use a function called match. And match is like a search function, right? So uh, what I'm going to search, I'm going to basically search. So the match function, what it usually does, for example, if I search for Monday, comma, within this particular range, comma, and it's an exact match, and I close parentheses, this is where I search Monday, which is the first thing inside of this range. So in this case, it's gonna give me one saying that it was able to find Monday within this range and it was the first element. That's what that one means, right? So that's what match does, it returns an index. If it doesn't find something, it returns an NA, not available. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this as an array. So instead of searching for a single value, which is what I did, just searching for Monday, I'm going to search for this entire range of values that are available in the first range of numbers that I have. So I have this range of numbers and I'm searching for that range of, not numbers, but values, whatever, and I'm searching for them in this range. So if I enter, I'm getting just one because right now we're just using as a conventional function. So it's really just doing the same thing as it was doing before. It's really ignoring all these other cases. So what I need to do to make this work as an array, use it inside of a function called array function. And again, I have a video about array function function and apparently I mistyped that uh, actually it's array formula, not function. For Mila. there we are. I'm gonna hit enter. So once I convert it to an array, it works an array function. And what I'm getting as a result is a range. So what I'm getting is that, well, it searched for Monday in this range, it was number one. That it was searching for Tuesday in this range, it didn't find it, so it's an NA. Uh, it did search for Friday and it was number three in the results and Saturday number four and Thursday is not available in those results. So that's what I'm getting as a result of this array, right? So uh, what I'm going to do, I want to convert this results to an array of trues and falses. And what that means is that every time that I was able to find the result, I want it to be true. And every time I didn't, I want it to be false. So basically, if it's a number, that means we found it, right? It says it's 
first one, third one, fourth one. So those should turn to true and NAs should turn to false. And the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to put, and again, I want the whole thing to work as an array function, but what I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check the results of the match if it's a number or not. So I'm going to put that inside of another function called is number. So I'm going to uh, put some spaces here. They're not necessary, but they will probably make the formula a little more clear. So I'm going to put this whole thing right here inside of this is number function, which is then is inside of our array formula function, which is going to treat this entire formula as an array. So is number function checks if something is a number or not. If it's a number, it gives you true. If it's not a number, it gives you false, which is pretty much what I was trying to do. Now I'm getting true, false, true, true, false. So the ones that are true were in this list, the ones that are false were not. That's what I'm getting as a result of this. So, and why I was getting to this is because there is a function in Google Sheets called filter. And with filter, you can give it a list of some sort like this, and then give it an array of trues or falses. And the way filter works is that every single one that's true, it's gonna kip, and every single one that's false, it's not going to kip. So this is my trues and falses. So basically, if I, I'm gonna keep this separate so it makes sense. So I'm going to just, in a separate cell, say filter, this is my function. So the first thing is the range we're planning to filter. So I'm going to grab this range, comma, and the second one is the condition, which is basically an array of trues or falses. So which should be the same size. So this is the same size as this, which is perfect. So I'm going to highlight that, close this formula, hit enter, and you see what I'm getting Monday, Friday, and Saturday because Monday, Friday, and Saturday were actually in this list. Now, I don't want to have these two separate functions, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and copy this function, which is this array formula function, hit escape, I'm not changing it. I'm gonna go back, and here, instead of doing this A1, A5, D1, D5, and D1, D5 was this trues and falses, so I'm simply going to just replace that D1 through D5 with my array formula, which should still get me the same result. The only difference, I'm not connected to this anymore, so I'm getting the result. So if I have a list and another list, and I'm just trying to get matching values, that's the way I can get it. I can do this formula, I can do this array formula and a filter to filter it out and get the following results, right? So, and by the way, so it doesn't matter if this range is larger than this one or smaller. So if I just had, let's say, this much, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, now we have Monday that matches and Friday that's gonna match. So I'm just getting my results, Monday, Friday. So that's uh, where we're at with two lists. Now we're going to use the same logic on our other case, which is right here, to get this Monday, Friday, Saturday results. So the first thing we need to do, we need to convert these to these ranges that we're looking for. So to do that, I'm going to use a function called split. So split is a function that can split text by a delimiter. So I'm going to take this text, comma, and split it by a delimiter. The delimiter in this case is the comma. So I'm going to go ahead and use my comma in quote, space quote. So I actually, I, I was typing here because sometimes it blocks the view here, but here we are. So that's the cell and I'm splitting it by a comma. So if I hit enter, see what it does. It did split all of these by a comma and put each one of those in a separate cell. Now what I want to do, I want the results to be in a single column, not in a single row like this. So what I'm going to do to get to it, I'm going to use a function transpose. And transpose is a function that will shift 
columns to rows or rows to columns. So if I do this, see, we shifted those. Now we get those results in a single row. That's what I have. Now I'm going to simply just copy this formula to the right, which will apply the same to the second cell, which is our B1 cell. So there it is. I have these split like this, and I have these results split like this. Now to make this formula a little better, what I want to do, in addition to doing what I already did, I want to handle situations when people could possibly have some spaces here in the middle of these things. And then if we do that, see the second result like Tuesday, now it has a space Tuesday, which is gonna be a problem for us because then if we check like Friday with a space, with this Friday that doesn't have a space, it's not going to match. So to handle those type of situations, I'm going to put this entire split that I have just like that in a function called trim and trim is a function that will basically remove leading and trailing spaces and uh, also unnecessary spaces usually in the middle but that's really not what we're trying to do here so right now we're just getting rid of the leading and trailing spaces to handle those cases so if I hit enter so that didn't go very well because we have to treat this as an array formula now. So let's do that. And there we are. Now we get our results is an array formula broken down in a single column. So even though we have spaces, we take care of those spaces right here. So if I don't have spaces, that's still going to be just fine, right? So that's what I have as a result. So now I was able to get those two ranges that I was looking for. Now, a lot of this now is gonna be the same. Now I have to go ahead and convert those two ranges to a new range that gives me just what I need, similar to what I did before. So what I did before, if you remember, I'm gonna do it here. I said, well, let's use the function called match and I'm gonna search for all of these values inside of this range. And I'm gonna search for them inside of this range over here. And, oh, by the way, the match has a third argument, which should be an exact match, zero. So if you don't know about match function, I have a video about it, please watch that. So that's our match function. It's gonna search and find our index, like I did before. And I want to treat this as an array function. If, and if you remember, I also did is number function around it to make sure that I get the numbers to convert to trues and the other ones to co convert to falses. So array formula. So let's open that and close this parenthesis here. Hit enter. There we are, true, false, true, true, false. So we got our array of trues and falses. Now I'm gonna go back and grab this whole thing. I'm gonna use my command X or control X to cut this. And then I'll start with my other function, which is my filter function. So filter function, I'm going to say, well, this is the range of uh, values I have and comma and what's the second condition, which is should be an array uh, of trues and falses, I'm gonna paste my array. And there I am in a formula bar, my array, I'm gonna close my filter function over here, hit enter, and that gives me Monday, Friday, and Saturday. So I was able to get that range. Now what I need to do, I need to make sure that all of this happens here without using this helper columns on the left. So the way I'm going to do it, if I look here, so the range A5 through A9, that's the same thing that we have over here, right? So I'm gonna go here and grab this function, the whole thing without the equal sign, I'm gonna copy it, escape out of that, go back here, and instead of A5 through A9, right here, I'm going to paste that function that I had. 
So that should work the same way. The same thing I'm going to do with the second occurrence of A5 through A9. So this thing is getting on away. It's really annoying. Maybe I'll just close it down. A5 through A9 right here. I'm deleting the old one, pasting my new well, it's really the old, but that, that's the function that was giving me the results. Hit enter, that should give me the same results. So I was able to replace uh, all of those occurrences from A5 to A9. I have to also replace this B5 and B8, which is this. I'm gonna hit escape, go back here, grab this formula without the equal sign, copy that, hit escape, go back to this formula and find B5, B8 range, delete the range and paste the other one. Hit enter and I should get those results. The only difference now is that I don't really need these. So if I delete them, this now works off of these two cells, which gives me this range that I have right here. So the final thing we want to do, we want to convert all of these to this format that gives me like three of them comma separated. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this entire thing that I have. I'm gonna cut that. That was that range that I was getting. And I'm going to use a function called join, which can take different array uh, values or different ranges and convert them to a text join. So it says, what's the delimiter you want to join it with? So my delimiter, if I wanted a comma space, I would do comma space like this in quotes because this is text. But what I want, I'm, I'm not going to do the space to keep it clean. I'll just do a comma as a delimiter. I'm going to do a space after that. And then it says, what's your array? So my array is going to be that whole thing. I'm going to have to paste it in. And finally, close my parentheses for my join function, hit enter, and there I have it. I have this formula that returns me what I need. Now I can just cut this, paste this over here to have side by side. So there I have it. I have this list and this list, and I'm getting only the ones that match from both lists. So if I change this, so something like this, it doesn't really matter. We're getting Monday and Friday that match, the rest don't match. So if we add something like Thursday to this list, obviously there's nothing that will match from this other list, so it doesn't show up. But if we also add Thursday to this list, now we have Monday, Friday, and Thursday. So that's the solution I found for this. Maybe there is an easier way. So uh, again, I would usually just use app scripts for this, but with a formula, that's the way I was able to handle this. I'm pretty sure maybe somebody will find a formula that's not as crazy as this one. I'm thinking that now that we've put this inside of this join functions, I might be able to simplify this by removing some of this array formulas out of it. So I think if I remove this array formula here, and also this array formula for this trim function. And there is also this other array formula for this trim function. Hopefully I didn't mess up with uh, those. So that seems to work just fine by removing those. So that, that, that makes it a little simpler. I don't think I, could remove this one, but I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna also try to remove this array formula out of here. See, that didn't work. So I thought that would not. So there we are, we have to keep that array formula in there. And I think the rest will stay the way it is. So that's our uh, function, that's our final results. There it is, so the functions we used here, join, filter, transpose, trim, split, array formula, is number, match. So that's it for this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.